Hey everybody. So we're out here in snowy Marquette, Michigan with Chevrolet and they're showing off a bunch of their heavy duty trucks. We're mainly here to plow snow, but there's something else here that's pretty cool I want to show you. It's that dump truck right there behind me. Now this is the new 3500 HD and the key with it, it has a brand new power takeoff on its 10 speed transmission and I want to show you exactly how it works. So in this video, we're going to do just that. Let's do it. Before we look further into this Chevy dump truck, I want to answer the simpler question, what is a PTO? PTO stands for power takeoff. That is because a PTO transfers power from the engine of your vehicle to an outboard implement or pump. PTOs were first developed in the agricultural world as tractors needed to somehow power the many different implements they worked with. Of course, there are cutting blades, spreaders, seeders, and many more. That's one of the advantages of a PTO. You have one power hookup that can power many different things. The earliest PTOs were sold to the public back in 1918 by International Harvester, so these things have been around for a long time. Today, in the world of pickup trucks, PTOs run off the vehicle's transmission and they allow upfitters to use already powerful engines to send their power to a range of implements and gear like cranes, cherry pickers, dump beds, and much more. There are different styles of PTO. Most modern pickup trucks, like the Chevy we're going to show you, use a hydraulic pump hooked onto the PTO, and of course then the hydraulics can be used for a range of different things. Many tractors, however, use a drive shaft style PTO, which hooks a little more directly onto an implement. I hope that helped explain PTOs a little bit better. Now let's get back to Frigid, Michigan to see the 2020 Chevy 3500 HD PTO in action. So yeah. Jim, why don't you uh, show us around this PTO, man? I want to see how this dump truck works. Yes, yeah, perfect. So uh, we'll run through the power takeoff unit. Uh, a couple, quite a few uses of power takeoff units. People have quite a wide span. Uh, but typically, so the modes that we use are stationary, which is in this case, we're actually going to be sitting. Sure. Um, you can go between different RPMs. I'll show you how that works. And you'd be running your bed or mm -hmm. whatever, uh, uh, whatever you'd be running units on the back of it. Um, there's also mobile. We'd actually be driving, on doing the, something actively move. as you're moving. Um, and then also remote, which a lot of people use, especially for cranes. Um, so this will cool. allow you, with a remote, to actually control your engine RPMs of the truck yeah. from the outside to be able to lift heavy objects. Got you. Like and pre-2020, this did not exist so on So we Chevy had trucks? power takeoff units okay. um, previously, like the uh, previous generation. Yeah. Um, but they're right now, it's much easier for an outfitter to you know do all their work onto the vehicle. So we did a gotcha. lot more focus, really a lot more, on making it easier for the outfitter to do okay. that. Uh, one, of the, one of the big changes, typically there used to be a gear-driven style. Uh, and then you'd actually have to buy a PTO, which would adapt to the trans, and then buy the pump, which okay. would then drive the gotcha. pressure. Um, now we have an option um, that you can actually have that integrated PTO, and now you just have to put the pump right on So it. the pump's essentially right on the transmission. Right. Almost. So there's right off the side of the transmission a uh, shaft that's covered up um, until you take off the cover plate. Gotcha. And you pump your, put your pump right on there and yeah. then run your lines. Cool. And you're, away you go. Okay, so yeah, so once it's all hooked up, why don't you show us how it yeah. works? So in this case, uh, we're in stationary mode. The first step would be setting the park brake. Okay. Um, it's one of the safety features we have in order to run it. And going from there, this button down here is the power takeoff button. So you can kind of see it's the four wheels and then off the side is where you're applying power right off the transmission. So we'll go ahead and hit that. And then it'll light up the icon on the dash. You'll also yeah, hear, you hear, it hear the, the pump and the PTO kick on. Um, and then from there, what I was mentioning before, you can adjust with the cruise control your engine RPM. So I'll show you uh, in a second how you would set that before you started running. Um, but we'll go ahead and bump that up. So see the RPMs climb up. We have it set for 1700 RPM um, okay. in this condition. And how many different settings can you have? Like, can you set it to whatever RPM you want? Or uh, is it set? Pretty wide range. It's every 100 RPM. Okay, so gotcha. From within the band that we allow. Gotcha. Um, and then from there, you would run the dump bed. In this case, we'd lever from the company that. Uh, supplied it. You'd run it up and down with this.
precise, but this example is a five horsepower pump. Okay. Um, we actually go all the way up to a 40 horsepower. 40 horse, pump nice. You could run off of it. Uh, standards five to 10 horsepower is kind of a standard uh, application of things people put on these types of things. But I'm just with that. Go ahead and oh, kick very it off. cool. Bump it back down. You can easily bump it back down, go back to your set point. It's really yeah. nice, integrated feature to use. Gotcha. Go ahead and kick up. And then my, my next question would be, uh, would have to do with warranty. I mean, how does the warranty cover things on a PTO? I mean, the pump wouldn't be covered, right? Because that's aftermarket? Correct. So, okay, gotcha. Uh, everything through the PTO, right? So in the past, that PTO part that you'd buy from an accessory company, yeah. that wouldn't be covered. That is now covered because it is part of the transmission. Gotcha, okay. Uh, now the pump, correct, that would be so the pump from wouldn't, but there is whatever more, supplier you would buy that. There from. is more coverage with this design than there was before. Correct. Okay, yeah. very cool. It's another benefit. Awesome. Um, so we'll go ahead and also so we'll shut the truck off. I'll show you real quick. Key on. And right here under, if you go to settings, under the vehicle tab, there's actually the power takeoff section. When you come in here, so in the stationary preset mode, which we're in, this is where you could go in and adjust the different uh, presets. So it kind of as I was clicking through with the cruise control buttons. So for example, if we wanted to come in and set set uh, two. This is where you could go in and select actually all the way up to 3100 RPM, um, what that you wanted that point at. So sure. depending on what kind of well, yeah, I'm sure every running. every manufacturer probably gives you a recommended RPM range. Correct, and gotcha. uh, it's the torque you need as well, right? Sure. Depending on where you're at. Uh, for this case, five horse pump, you can actually run it at about 1,000 RPM, and it'll run all day and be fine. Gotcha. So it's, so it just depends on what this might running. be a dumb question, but can you override with your right foot? Like when you're sitting there in park and you revved it up, would it actually rev up? Or? Uh, no. So in this case, okay. it's, we're using when you engage the PTO, you're controlling it. it, cuts it that you're off. taking okay. that off. Sure, it probably um, should do that. I was just had to know. features <laughs> also, right? If you hit the brakes, um, it'll actually shut it off. Oh, okay. Which actually is a nice feature if you're you're in this condition, right? You've dumped. You can hit the brakes, it'll shut off the PTO and you can drive away. Like say you've, you've dumped whatever, gotcha. wherever you're at, at a loading site, whatever, and you can drive right off. Gotcha. It's nice. All right, uh, so another feature we'll take you through real quick. Uh, it's a simple item, but rapid heat, uh, elevated idle. It's something we had in previous trucks as well, but cool feature. We can kind of show you how you, how you would turn it on. Um, so cold weather climates, we don't want to have it all the time where the idle's bumped up for everyone, uh, but for some people like this uh, condition, right, you want to be able to have the truck warm up faster. Um, so for that, under climate and air control, there's rapid heat, elevated idle, and we just select this item. And uh, if you give it about a minute or so, the idle will bump up, and it's just, uh, just a way to allow the truck to heat up faster in the winter for those cold weather climates like this in Marquette, Michigan. So the other thing that's not PTO related, but it's here and it's really cool, is this aux bank of switches down here. Um, so first of all, I mean, most people, it's pretty self-explanatory what they do, but is this new for 2020? Um, so we've, we've had them in the past. Uh, we've The way we've integrated is a little, little different now. Okay. Um, it's nice having it right where the driver can easily get to it, not yeah. having to kind of fumble around different areas. Um, it's new as far as the position of where we've had it, a little bit a little bit cleaner too, just being able to implement it where you're not fumbling around with other big switches, it sure. fits in nicely. No, it is thing. nice. And, and is this only, um, is it HD and medium duty or just HD or do you know the availability? Uh, HD um, and then it is an accessory uh, option with, within the different packages that cool. you can select. Yep. Okay, nice. So yeah, have people check it out. Yeah, that's a slick uh, switch bank right there. Well, perfect man, I think that's everything. Thanks so much for showing us Thanks this cool dump truck. Well, that is it for this video, guys. And I have to remind you, when I was out there in Marquette, I took a pair of HDs and I went snow plowing. Boss Snow Plows brought out a whole bunch of toys for us to play with. So make sure you come back to the channel because very soon that video will be dropping and we will be comparing the gas versus diesel 2020 Chevy HD trucks. We had an absolute ton of fun out there producing this video. It was a little chilly, sure, but whatever. I love working with big machines and big toys like this. So yes, as always, go below, leave a comment, hit like, hit subscribe, and then come right back to the channel as we keep bringing you the latest news, views, and real world reviews. See ya.